let us pray, hands together, and feel the presence of the Lord. Father God, thank you for this wonderful day. We ask you, Father, to come with us today. Fill our hearts with joy, our minds with learning, our class with peace, our lessons with fun, our friendships with kindness, and above all, fill us with your love. Amen. All right. Good morning, class. How are you today? I hope you're all doing good. And be mindful of taking care of yourselves because we are still fighting the coronavirus 2019 pandemic. Anyways, if you guys are feeling lost, tired, or bored in your houses because you cannot go outside or go to school, no worries. Because today, we're gonna learn a new lesson in English grammar. Are you all ready? Oh, that's good. Just prepare your pen, your paper, your gadgets, and of course yourselves. So bear with me students because I am your English grammar buddy for today. I am teacher Nika. So before we're going to start our class for today, let us check your attendance. Are you all present for today? Well, very good class. Always maintain your attendance because it really affects on your grades. Let us give everyone a round of applause. So before we proceed to our next topic, let us first recall our previous lesson that we had discussed. At this point, let us read the objectives found in the screen. At the end of the lesson, the student should be able to first Identify the form of the subject and the verb in the sentence. Second, choose the correct form of the verb to make it agree with the subject. Third, familiarize with the basic rules of subject-verb agreement. And fourth, create a sentence in which the subject agrees to its verb. Alright class, these are the things that you will achieve at the end of the lesson. Class, before we're going to proceed to our new lesson for today, let us have first an activity. Class, let us have another activity before we proceed to our lesson for today. Directions Underline the correct answer found in the parentheses. Number 1. Rhea sings sing her favorite song. Number 2. Paul and Maria dance dances gracefully. Number 3. You are is my best friend. Number 4. The dogs are is barking. Number five, Maria 
kiss kisses the baby. Your timer starts now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Time is up. And now let us find out the answers. So number one, the answer is sings. Raya sings her favorite song. Number two, the answer is dance. Paul and Maria dance gracefully. And number three, the answer is R. You are my best friend. Number four, the dogs are barking, which is the answer is R. And number five, Maria kisses the baby. The answer is kisses. Alright students, what can you observe from our activity? Do you agree that the toothbrush is for the teeth? The nail cutter is for the nails. The lipstick is used for the lips. Shampoo is for the hair. And shoes for the feet. If your answers are yes, then you are exactly correct. Indeed, there is always an appropriate use for everything or tool or any material. Like the need of the toothbrush, the cutter, lipstick, shampoo and shoes to be properly used, the language, particularly the subject and verb, must also agree with each other, like the activity 2 that we had. This is for the purpose of clear and better communication. Today, we will be discussing about subject verb agreement and we will be learning the basic rules to make our verb agrees with our subject. But before we are going to tackle the agreement of subject and verb, let us define first what is a subject and a verb. Subject and verb are part of a sentence. Sentence is a group of words that expresses a complete thought. What is a subject? The subject of the sentence is the noun that is doing or being something. What is a verb? The verb is carrying out the action or linking the subject to further information. Example Anna eats papaya. In this sentence, Anna is our subject and eats is our verb. What is subject verb agreement? The subject and verb must agree in number, both must be singular or both must be plural. Let us notice the difference between singular and plural forms in the following examples. The first one is, the baby drinks the milk. The second one is, the babies drink the milk. In order to find out if our subject and verb agrees, there is a need to identify the form of the subject in a sentence. In sample A, the subject is baby, which is singular, and the verb is drinks, which is singular. However, in sample B, the subject is babies, which is plural, and the verb is drink, which is plural. Notice the difference in the formation of subject from singular to plural compared to the formation of verb from singular to plural. When we transform our subject into plural, we usually add s or es, but in verb, adding s makes the verb singular. Therefore, the general rule of subject verb agreement singular subjects require singular verb, and plural subjects require plural verbs. Additional rules Number one, if subjects are joined by and, they are considered plural. Example, the quarterback and the coach are having a conference. Number two, if subjects are joined by or or nor, the verb should agree with a closer subject. Example, either the baby or the puppies drink milk. Number three, the relative pronouns who, whom, which, and that are either singular or plural depending on the words they refer to. Example, the sales manager is a good researcher who spends a great amount of time surfing the web for information. Number four, 
indefinite pronouns someone, somebody, each, either one, everyone, or anyone are considered singular and need singular verbs although they convey plural meaning. Example Anyone who wants to pursue higher education has to pass entrance exams. Number five, a few subjects look plural but are really singular or vice versa. Example, the news of the discovery is spreading. And lastly, expressions stating amount of time, money, weight, volume are plural in form but take a singular verb. Example, $200 is a lot of money. These are the things to remember in subject-verb agreement. The trick is to know whether the subject is singular or plural. The next trick is to recognize whether the verb is singular or plural. And now, let's assess your comprehension about our topic. Directions. Underline the correct verb inside the parentheses to make the statement correct. Identify the subject and determine whether it is in singular or plural. For example, the survey covering seven colleges reveal reveals a growth in enrollment. The subject here is the survey and the form is singular. Alright, number one, my sister and brother lives live in Berlin. Number two, either the man or his friends knows know the answer. Number three, three weeks is are a long time. Number four, Lisa is one of the students who has half passed with an average. Number five, each student and teacher was were aware of the difficulty. Number six, a car and a bike is our main means of transportation. Number seven, my aunt or my uncle is our arriving at the airport. Number eight, neither Jenny nor the others is our available. Number nine, the serving bowl or the plates go goes on that shelf. Number ten. Each of the students read reads well. Number 11. Five years is or the maximum sentence for that offense. Number 12. Salma is the scientist who write, writes her reports. Number 13. Is one of the men who do does the work. Number 14. Mathematics is or my favorite subject. Number 15. Moms is or a viral disease. Well done. Very good class. You did it great. <laughs> this time, in order for you to further understand the concept, you answer this assignment. Directions. Write 10 sentences and you apply the basic rules of subject-verb agreement. This has been Teacher Nika. I hope you have learned from what we have discussed for today. I hope you will always remember that if your subject is singular, you should have a singular verb. And if your subject is plural, your verb must also be plural. Thank you so much. And God bless everyone. Let's call it a day. Bye.